Would you rather have 67 individual investors or one gigantic investor who's funding everything, right? Well, you know, I learned I learned the hard way, uh, Mike, that the most dangerous number in any in any business, no matter what business you're in, the most dangerous number is the number one. In other words, I don't want to have one uh, realtor that I do business with or one general contractor or one plumber or one electrician or one lender. <laughs> so it was, it was, a, it was, but you know what, Mike, it was a huge blessing in disguise that I lost my lines of credit because in the first 12 months in that year that I was lost my lines of credit in January that year, the next 12 months, our business tripled because this happened in 2009. And of course, you and everybody else remembers what was going on in 2007, 2008, 2009. All these foreclosures came along and I would not have been able to take advantage of that opportunity of all those bank owned properties if I didn't have a bunch of private money lined up uh, because, you know, you got to pay cash for that stuff. So due to the adversity and that difficulty and that challenge, it was a it was the biggest blessing in disguise that I've come across uh, since starting this business in 2003. In fact, if it were not for that that difficulty and that challenge, you and I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be here on the podcast with you. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the good old expression: every pessimist finds difficulty, and every opportunity, and every optimist finds an opportunity and every difficulty. It was a difficulty having your cut your lines of credit cut. The reason it was an opportunity is because all these houses got distressed and you can pick them up at a great price. You just needed to have the capital and the capital came from private money. Mm -hmm.